If you are a first year MBBS student, biochemistry must be the subject you most dread about. In this video, we will talk everything about biochemistry. Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Shadi Datta. I am a second professional MBBS student at Burdwan Medical College and Hospital, West Bengal. Biochemistry as a subject is very boring, and the reason for that is very obvious. Biochemistry deals with some boring reactions. enzymes hormones and some boring metabolic cycles comparing it with the other two subjects of first year that is anatomy and physiology these two subjects are very interesting these two subjects are not interesting because of the subjects themselves but because of their practical applications anatomy turns out to be interesting because we deal with a real human cadaver we get to see the real human muscles bones arteries and nerves and that makes this subject way more interesting talking about physiology we get to and prick our own fingers and see the blood under the microscope we get to hang the stethoscope around our neck and even use the sigma manometer to measure people's blood pressure these practicals actually make anatomy and physiology way more interesting than the other subject but in case of biochemistry no such practical exist the practicals are also very boring and moreover we cannot relate them with the practical life as an mbbs student but once we get to understand the clinical implication of biochemistry and its importance this subject turns out to be interesting Imagine a diabetic patient the first basic test that is done for that patient is related to biochemistry and in India being the diabetic capital of the world imagine how important biochemistry is talking about the its importance in the academics the second year subjects be it pharmacology pathology or microbiology forms their basis on biochemistry be it the roots of drug administration or how a drug acts within the body is related to biochemistry in case of pathology how the pathogens react in the body is related to biochemistry in case of microbiology how the microorganisms enter into the human body is related to biochemistry and thus biochemistry becomes a very important subject academically as well talking about its implications in the whole world biochemistry has become a major research subject more than 25000 research papers have been published in the last 10 years in india itself related to biochemistry the year on year growth is about 37% on research topics related to biochemistry in india itself and thus biochemistry is a very important subject now once we have known the importance of biochemistry as a subject we should know the important resources that we should use to conquer this subject the first primary resource that we should use for this subject is its books i have talked about the books of every other subject of first year in details in a previous video of mine but to take a gist of that the gold standard book for biochemistry is lippincott and harper and the everyday go to book is vasudevan or satyanarayan and if you want to study about the clinics in a more well mannered way you should definitely refer to vasudevan because the clinical part in vasudevan is given in a well structured form now talking about the important chapters and topics of biochemistry the first important topic or chapter is the basic biochemistry Basic biochemistry includes the basics of carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, fats and enzymes. Now these chapters seem to be very interesting and we actually find it very familiar because we have studied about these in our class 11th and 12th. So what we actually tend to do in our first year is we devote most of our time in reading these basic chapters and not the other tougher chapters present in this subject. So what I suggest is do not invest much time into reading the basics because you already know the basics. Invest more time in studying the metabolic chapters. Getting into the most important topics of metabolism, 
The primary ones are the carbohydrate metabolism, be it glucose metabolism, fructose metabolism, other metabolic cycles like galactose, sucrose, and etc. And the electron transport chain forms the crux of this subject, and that is why this subject becomes very important. I was previously talking about the diabetic patient. Now, this diabetic patient is tested for the presence of reducing sugars. We talk about these in these cycles of carbohydrate metabolism. The other important topics of metabolism are fatty acid synthesis, ketone body pathway, fatty acid metabolism, the beta oxidation of fatty acid, uh, the amino acid metabolism and in amino acid metabolism the most important ones are methionine, tryptophan, tyrosine and glycine. Apart from these metabolic cycles, the most important topics are the genetic techniques which basically deals with the recombinant DNA technology, the uh, PCR methods, the blotting methods and many other things. Those are very important topics of the genetic. The entire genetics should be dealt very precisely. And apart from these, the topic of cancer and tumor markers is way much more important. I have listed down all the important topics and subtopics and I've given a PDF in the description. You can just go and download it from there. The metabolism part of biochemistry is the most volatile part. So to ace the topics of metabolism, what we should do is we should draw the cycles multiple times and study them repeatedly from the notes that you have made by yourself. Note making is one of the easiest way to ace any subject. And if biochemistry being a volatile subject, note making becomes way more important. Now let us talk about how to make a proper note for biochemistry. Let us take an example of the chapter uh, carbohydrate metabolism. Now once you make a note for carbohydrate metabolism, you must be referring to some videos to the, for the coaching institutes that you are enrolled into or maybe you are referring to a YouTube video or you are simply referring to your college professors. So once you attend the class for that chapter of carbohydrate metabolism, you should make a complete crisp note of every topic in a white sheet of paper or the copy that you make the note in. Now, once you have made the note of the carbohydrate metabolism, the cycles and everything, for example, the TCA cycle, the ETC and everything, this note is completed. Now, what you should do is include the diseases related to that. For example, in case of carbohydrate metabolism, you should include the diabetes mellitus. And apart from this, you should include the tests related to this chapter. For example, the Benedict's test. This actually turns your entire chapter into a complete note. Now, once we have done this, you should go and study the same chapter from a book because you should always keep in mind that a book has got the most amount of information. No video, no teacher can give you the exact amount of information that are present in a book. I want to provide a tip about memorizing the metabolism chapters. What you should do is you take a single sheet of paper, draw the entire cycle and the process, read that multiple times and close that and take a fresh sheet of paper and try to recall what you have learned and write it multiple until you get to the perfect cycle and the perfect points. That would help you remember these metabolism chapters very easily. Now, studying, making notes and practicing the subject doesn't make you ace an exam of biochemistry. To ace the exam of biochemistry, we should follow some different tactics and techniques. To ace the exam, what I did was I used to make a checklist. My checklist included uh, the chapter's name on the left hand side and the things that I need to do for that particular chapter on the right hand side. For example, if I uh, include carbohydrate basics, then what I used to do was I used to watch prep ladder videos or the videos from YouTube which seem to be the best. Then I used to make the notes and read them. Thirdly, I used to solve the PYQs. Fourth, I used to solve the questions of my previous year of my college and some other colleges itself and then I used to solve some MCQs of that particular chapter. So 
following this checklist when all the boxes are being ticked marked then you can find yourself confident enough for that chapter itself so the basic things that you need to do for a single chapter in biochemistry is you need to watch or uh, see a video on YouTube or listen to your professor on college or maybe some coaching apps that you are enrolled into. Secondly, you should read that particular chapter from a gold standard book, be it Lippincott, be it Harper, because the information given in those books are accurate and if you just go and say those points in front of the examiner, they actually find it very impressive. Thirdly, you should refer to your go-to books as well because these go-to books actually help you to write answers in your theory papers. Fourth, you should solve the PYQs of your university. For example, if I am in, enrolled into the West Bengal University of Health Sciences, I will solve the past 10 year questions of that particular chapter of my university so that it helps me get set into the pattern of questions that are being asked then you should actually solve the question paper of your semester exams in your college of your past years and your years as well. Lastly, you should solve the questions of other colleges and some past year MCQs as well because in most of the health universities, MCQs are included as a part of the question paper as well. So I've tried to include every single details that you should follow while studying the subject of biochemistry. I've tried to include the books, the chapters, the most important topics and how should you actually approach the subject. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and share this video with as many people as possible. Thank you.